What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment here to bring to you my predictions video for this week's game versus Michigan State. Before I get started, if you can, please leave a like on the video as it definitely helps my video uh, get out to all the Michigan fans all across the world. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the game. Are you confident that we'll pull this one out? Are you scared that we're going to lose to Michigan State? Let me know how you feel about the game in the comment section below. And if you enjoy my content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. So with that, let me get started on the video. Um, let's just be frank. This is make or break for this program. Um, we cannot afford to lose to Michigan State under any circumstances. Especially given the fact that, you know, they're in a complete rebuild right now. We shouldn't be. Like, on paper, this should be an easy victory for us. But the way this season has gone so far, nothing is guaranteed anymore. So, first things first... I'm interested to see who's even going to be starting at quarterback. At this point in time, who do you go with? You got Davis Warren, that's just a turnover machine, scared to take any contact, doesn't want to get hit, just throw things up for grab, you know, when the pressure is on, tries to do too much. Then you got Alex Orgy, who doesn't turn the ball over, but either he can't do it or they won't allow him to throw the football. So you're totally and completely one-dimensional. All you can do is run. So teams are just going to load the box, dare you to throw, and you know you, you just you can't move the football because of that. Or you have Jack Tuttle, who, I mean, I don't see how he's any different at this point than how Davis Warren was. Except he isn't afraid to get hit, but he's still a turnover machine. He's good at throwing the ball to the other team. He's good at, he's good for one fumble a game. So... I don't know who you go with at this point. Jane Davis is not coming on the field. I mean, who are you going to? Denegal? Are you going back to Davis Warren again? Like, who is the quarterback? So, because I don't even know who the quarterback is, it's hard to even really put a finger on how this team is going to play. Uh, you know, I, I think... Defense looks a little bit more solidified. Like they played, they played decently last game versus Illinois. I don't put that loss on them at all. Yes, it was twenty one points, but you had short fields because of special teams. Short fields because the offense, you know, turned the ball over, gave them a short field. So the defense did what they had to do. And, you know, in this day and age of college football, if you can only put up seven points, you deserve to lose. So, I think that the defense is going to do their part. It's what is the offense going to do? And I pointed it out, I think the last video I made, I said about a third down play where they had Donovan Edwards in. To start the game, they had Donovan Edwards in. And I don't, there's nothing wrong with having him in, in there, you know, to spell Mullings. But Mullings needs to be, from the opening snap, our number one option for running the football. Good things happen when he touches the football. So why do they keep going to Edwards Early and often, I don't get it. 
I, I just I just don't understand the stuff, man. So if they I, I feel as though if they go to their strengths, they can win this game. If they run the football of Mullings, do some creative stuff with Edwards in the passing game, you know, have them in there to spell Mullings. Um, you know, if it's third down and long, I would understand them having Edwards in there, you know. But short yardage situations, first and second down situations, it's got to be Mullings in there. Go throw it, the ball to Colson Loveland, see how that goes. When they did that, that's how they scored their one touchdown. Um... But you know this is going to be a heavily motivated and hungry Michigan State team. You know that they want to beat us. They know You know they hate us. You can't allow this team to come into your home and beat you. You just can't do it. So this is rubber ass of me hit the road. I mean, where is your manhood? You have to win this game. And, you know, like I said, this game is going to have to be won. The defense is going to do their part. Is what is the offense going to do? Is this going to be a game where they try to play to their strengths and try to just get this win? Or are they still trying to do whatever they're doing to, I, I don't know if it's that they're trying to appease for the future so they can bring in these recruits for the future. So they're playing for 2025 and 2026. Forget the season. The season is a wash. Let's play to bring in all these big name recruits. And the only way we can do that is to play a certain way and convince them that this is Michigan going forward. Is that what we're doing? I mean, I don't know. But it just doesn't seem like this coaching staff is playing to the team that they have. You got Alex Orgy in there. You need to be trying to cater and, you know, just have your whole scheme towards his skill set. I mean, he he's not JJ. So, I, I just don't understand what they're doing. So, like I said, hard to put a finger on exactly how to attack Michigan State when you don't even know who the quarterback is going to be. But I know one thing. They need to run the football. Stop being cute, trying to do these drop back passes and all that. What happened to play action? What happened to a lot of motion? You know, pre-snap pre -snap stuff. All that seems to be out the window this year. And I don't know that's whether or not that's because these guys in there now can't handle doing that. Or maybe that's just not part of what they do now. But we got to get back to the stuff that made it successful. So, now, as far as my prediction for the game goes, um, I'll be honest, the only reason that I'm picking Michigan and it pains me to say this, is because it's a home game. Because it seems like when they go on the road, they're just a totally and completely different team. So I think because it's a night game, it's a home game, that Michigan is going to pull this one out. And boy, do we need this game. We don't win this game. We don't even go to a bowl game this year. So, I feel as though 
one way or another, it's a home game. We're going to pull this one out and win. So I see this game being Michigan 24, Michigan State 17. So anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video. It definitely helps out my channel. If you made it this far in the video, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Leave me a go blue if you can as well. And as I mentioned before, if you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. And as always, go blue.